Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my May favorites. I hope you enjoy. If you have not subscribed yet already, I would love for you to do so. That would mean so much. And let's get into these favorites. Okay, starting with brows, cause I've been liking to do my brows first, like I've mentioned in a past video. I've been loving the Got To Be Bra Glue For Brows product. This is their repackaged like brow product that they created. They had a cult following for their just regular like hair gel and they finally made it into a brow gel. This is extremely overpriced. I think this is like $20. I got mine when I traveled to Germany last year and they were like eight US dollars um, when I did the conversion and in the US they're $20. So that I think is just so ridiculous personally. Um, it is still a favorite and I am gonna use it and love it because it is an incredible product. I bought like four of these for myself when I was in Germany last year but this is just a beautiful beautiful product for your brows it's very strong hold get a very feathery look with it and I do really like the spoolie as well I think when I run out of all of these tubes and if they haven't changed the price I'm just gonna buy the regular like hair gel because I think you can get like a travel size which would last for forever for like two dollars or something like that so I'm pretty disappointed in the fact that they made this so expensive because they know how affordable their actual hair gel is but I mean capitalism so I guess it makes sense. I've just been really really liking this. I think it just does a beautiful job at holding my brows up and I've loved this for about a year and a couple months now because my birthday last year was a year and a couple months ago so yeah this is incredible it does such a good job at making my brow so fluffy and just the way that I like it and holds it all day long without getting flaky or weird in the brows but I would just recommend getting the actual hair gel because I'm sure it's gonna do the same thing and a little spoolie that you can get for free from like Sephora or something I think that's way more cost effective and you'd get the same results but I do really really like this and it's convenient it's in a little tube like this and I don't have a specific brow product that I've been loving this month that's new that I haven't already mentioned so I'm just gonna fill my brows in with this Jason Wu brow pencil it's uh, good. I like it. It's from the drugstore or from Target. I don't know. Do we say Target is drugstore? But yeah, you can get this at Target and I like it. It's good. It's just not remarkable to me. So this is just the brow product I'm going to be filling my brows in with today. I don't have a new favorite primer either. So I'm just going to go in with my Freck Beauty primer that I've mentioned in a past favorites video as well as my primer today. I love the smell of this. I don't even know. How to explain the smell of it but it smells very like natural <laughs> like I'm outside and it just rained but I'm in the desert does it smell like cactuses I don't know what cactuses smell like but I think of like a fresh desert rain when I wear this <laughs> this is an under eye corrector from Bobbi Brown this is their like new corrector stick I have the shade peach and I've really been liking this. I feel like it almost conceals and corrects at the same time for my skin tone. I love the little applicator as well. I just find it so enjoyable to use because it's like a little crayon that I can draw on my face. And I put this right under my eyes like this. And I put it around my nose as well and kind of around my mouth and it just blends in really well. It does a really good job at correcting the darkness on my face and I love the finish of it too. And I'll just take my foundation brush and blend this out onto my skin and it does a lot of work for me so I don't need to use as much like concealer and foundation or whatever I'm using on my face for my base product. Just really, really been liking it as a corrector and kind of doubling as a concealer. It's really nice for when I'm rushing as well because I can just throw this on 
and it does a good job at evening my skin tone out as you can see and it's so easy to pack and just like throw in your bag because it's this nice little compact tube so this has been really really nice and i've really been liking that i really like bobbi brown complexion products i want to try their new um cream blushes next if you've tried those you should let me know what you think about them and i want more of their crush lip stick situations i have one shade and i really really like it and i swatched a few the other week at sephora and really liked those as well but they're quite pricey so i might wait until like they go on sale at ulta or something if you have a shade that you recommend please let me know okay and for my base as i shake these up i've been loving the glossier skin tints i think just with like a little bit of concealer and a little bit of corrector obviously and these it's just so pretty on the skin it's perfect for this warmer weather and it just gives me enough coverage but not too much where it feels heavy and just looks really natural and I love them these are both in my project pan they're the older version so I just have the shade medium and dark I I think I'd be like g8 in their new collection and I've had these for such a long time I'm grateful they're not breaking me out but yeah these just are so pretty on the skin so I'll just put this all over the face and i kind of just pounce this into the skin i don't have a new favorite concealer to talk about but this is an old fave this is the glossier stretch concealer and again this is also in my project pan so i've just been using this up and i love this concealer this has been a favorite for a really long time i still have been loving the milk makeup future fluid concealer as well that i've been using so much and was also a big favorite in may i think it was in my april favorites but i kept using them in may too and just loved them so much but i wanted to give those concealers a little break because i've been using them kind of a lot like every single day as my base product and wanted to show this concealer some love especially since it's in my project pan which i need to do a video for soon it's coming it's coming so this is what the base looks like with the under eye corrector and skin tint and concealer i just really like it it's so fresh and easy a bronzer that i've really been liking is the m cosmetics so soft bronzer in the shade summer these are just so creamy and beautiful and blend so well into the skin i did a couple of tiktok videos trying to use the bronzers as like an underpainting situation and i was just reminded sorry i have a dog hair on my face i was just reminded of how beautiful they are and how seamlessly they blend into the skin and how quickly and just they're such a pretty product so i have been loving that and i've been using this brush from real techniques i don't know if they still make this brush specifically but i'll link it down below if i can this is the real techniques light layer blush brush but i use it for cream bronzer these little baby hairs are so irritating Like that blended in so quickly and so well. I was loving two blushes in May and they were the Dior blush in Coral and the Phytosurgeons blush in Evaporate. It's funny because they're both kind of peachy shades and I don't really tend towards peachy shades but I've really been liking these. I am a sucker for the Dior packaging and the blush. I love the pink one and I had such a moment with that when I was blonde and because I love that one so much and I saw a couple videos of people with skin tones similar to mine. I think it was like on Dior or just some type of like marketing that they had and i was like oh maybe i need that shade too so i ended up picking this shade up as well and i really really like it it's so pretty so i'll put this on hmm how should i do this to show you both shades i'll do evaporate very lightly like back here and then i'll put dior on the apple of my cheek but evaporate is such a stunning shade from phytosurgeons and this is a gorgeous peachy shade and this formula is beautiful as well as you all know how much i love it because i talk about their products so much but this is such a pretty shade and it blends so beautifully into the skin and just leaves this like toasty peach shade on my cheeks and is so so pretty for the summertime 
so that is a fat break look at how seamlessly that blended into my skin and into that bronzer these blushes are so pretty i need to pull out inferno again i haven't worn that in a while that was my like all-time favorite blush until they came out with sublimate and then that was my favorite and now evaporates my favorite so that is evaporate on the cheeks so 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 pretty love this one so much and now we have this beauty the dior rosy glow blush in coral they just expanded their shade range and i did pick up some shades so i'll have to talk about those in the future if you want a dedicated video for that let me know i'm happy to do that but yeah i did pick up uh rosewood and cherry so eee! i'm so excited for them they're so pretty i also heard they reformulated so they don't have any talc anymore and the formula is a little different so i'm curious to see what those look like because i have not tried them yet on my face but this one is the coral one it just brightens my face up so beautifully and it's such a cute little shade and it smooths the skin out as well so beautifully it like blurs the skin it's so pretty i went a little overboard so i'm just going to clean up the edges with my concealer brush i haven't really had a favorite eyeshadow i actually had a really bad eczema flare up on both of my eyes because i pet a cat that we were cat sitting and i shouldn't have done that i was actually petting her for many days in a row before getting a bad reaction and then i think on like the third or fourth day i was like really rubbing my eye and i must have gotten like cat dander in it and i had a really bad and funny reaction on one of my eyes just swelled up is that how you say that swelled <laughs> It got really swollen and it was so funny but also terrible and then I ended up getting eczema on both of my eyes for quite a few days so I've kind of just been avoiding eyeshadow mostly because of how textured and swollen my eyes were so no eyeshadow favorites that I really care to talk about so I'm gonna move on to mascara this has been a favorite mascara this is an oldie but a goodie and it is so pretty on the lashes and I just forgot how gorgeous this is. It does smudge on me a little bit, but I also have very like squinty eyes in the corner and I corners and I have really watery eyes as well. So this might not smudge on you, but it does smudge a very light amount on me on the corners and i am using waterproof as well so yeah just wanted to put that out there it doesn't really bug me because it's not like a bunch of smudging it's just like a very tiny amount which is very common for me with all types of mascaras the only one that doesn't really smudge on me is the heroin make mascara and the tower 28 mascara anyway this is the l'oreal paris voluminous hydrofuge mascara it's the waterproof version and it is so pretty it gives me like the fluffiest most natural lashes i'll do a side by side so you can see what one eye looks like with it and without it also feels really light on the lashes and builds up so beautifully without making my lashes look heavy or clumpy or anything like that it's just so so pretty okay so this is one eye with versus the eye without isn't that pretty i love it okay and then i have three lip formulas to talk about here they're all gorgeous and i'm excited to talk about them the first is the about face cherry pick lip butters i believe they're called lip color butters and these are so so pretty i did a lip swatching video so you can see that up in the corner here and i'll also link it down below so you can see all the shades on me and which one you like best but i have a, a few shades and i've kind of been cycling through a lot of them depending on what my outfit is and i just love the packaging let me show you the handful of them just like the packaging is so pretty and satisfying and whenever I'm wearing a certain color, I'll like pick that color to have my makeup match my outfit. It is so fun to do that. And these smell incredible. Every time I put these on, I'm like, 
Mmm, I really like a lot of them and I think my favorites are these two that I'll talk about. So the first is the cranberries. I think this one is my favorite, but again, I really like a lot of them and just kind of cycle through them. They're very pretty and a lot of the shades are quite forgiving because you can like shear them out or build them up if you need to. But like I said, this is the shade the cranberries and they're quite pigmented So usually I'll just put them onto my lips and then spread them out with a finger Especially with the like deeper or more opaque shades. I'll do that. So this is the shade the cranberries It's so pretty a very me shade and they're a clicky pen situation So you click the bottom and it comes out this way and you can't bring it back into the tube So once you've clicked it up, that's it and then you have to use it up or just close the lid. They are kind of messy, but they're a really like balmy, thick consistency that is so comfortable on the lips and very satisfying as well. And then another shade that I really like is Kiwi Fuzz, which is kind of this like cooler toned brown shade. And the smell is just very nostalgic. It's a very like fruity, I would say. It kind of reminds me of lip smackers or something. I don't know how to quite pinpoint the smell, but it's so good. Okay, so this is the shade Kiwi Fuzz. Also gorgeous. And then let me show you a like more poppy shade. This is what I wore the other day and it matched my cardigan perfectly. This is called Watermelon Take. And this is like a really juicy, fun spring shade. So this is Watermelon Take. The next favorite is very similar to the About Face Cherry Pick Lip Color Butters, Lip Butter Colors, that product that I just talked about. This is so, so similar, but this is from Hourglass. This is their Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm, and these are the same situation, so they're like basically the same packaging, and these twist up versus click, but they don't twist back down. And the major difference between this one and the About Face one is these are very, very glossy. The About Face ones are balmy and do have like a shine to them, but these ones are balmy and glossy. They like leave a very glass like shine on the lips and they're so so pretty. This is one I brought with me when I went to New York last month and I wore it a ton. This is the shade Trace. These also are quite messy like the about face ones so I usually like to put it onto my lips and then I'll spread it out with my finger. But you can already see how much glossier these ones are compared to the about face ones and I also have a swatching video of these so I'll make sure to put it up into the cards as well so you can check that out if you're interested in any of the other shades but this has been a major favorite I also love the shade slip so let me try that one on for you but again this is the shade trace so so gorgeous i love the way that these make my lips look they just fill in my lip lines they plump my lips up they do have kind of a sensation like a cooling sensation i would say to the lips and they feel very thick and balmy but leave this gorgeous shine i don't smell anything so i don't think these have a scent they could but personally i can't smell anything but yeah this is the shade trace let me find the shade slip that i like too this is a little bit warmer and like redder this is like a corally shade on me this is the shade slip i just think these are gorgeous so happy to have these in my collection and they're actually moisturizing which is surprising to me because they do have that cooling sensation and i find that a lot of products that have that cooling sensation are quite drying on my lips but these ones I don't find to be drying and I actually do find to be moisturizing on the lips which is really nice and the final lip product that was a favorite in the month of May is the hourglass unlocked lipsticks I also have a swatching video of this so I'll put that in the cards as well or down below if it doesn't fit in the cards but I love this lipstick so much it is Stunning and the shade that I liked the most is the shade shore and I also brought this to New York and it's just like a beautiful Texture, it's a beautiful formula. The shade is gorgeous. I liked this for the nighttime Because it's more of a full coverage proper lipstick 
but as you can see it does have that little like balmy finish to it and these are just so smooth on the lips and they feel so nice and I love the finish I love the color I do like to sheer this out a little bit with my finger too like the rest of them so this is the shade shore in the hourglass unlocked lipstick so pretty love this I don't love too many lipsticks but this is definitely one of them I'm gonna line my lips with the shade iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury this is a lip favorite in general it's not like a monthly favorite but I do really love this and then I'm gonna finish with the shade slip I feel like that shade is more appropriate for my make makeup look today I'm also just going to enhance some freckles with this Salty Face Freckle Pen. I don't think it has a name on the product, but I'll link it down below. I've, I've been liking this too. So here is a little close-up of all of my monthly favorites. It's so funny when I do favorites, I am like, wow, I really like my base and I love how my makeup turned out, but of course, it's like a full face of all of my favorite products from the last month, but still, I, I'm just very happy with how the base turned out. And I love the cheek combination. I haven't done that combo together, so I'm glad I did that today because it looks so, so pretty. Okay, so those were all of my favorites for the month of May. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions or comments about any of the products I talked about today, please let me know in the comment section down below. And please also let me know what your favorites are or were for the month of May or what they currently are. I love talking about makeup with all of you in the comments down below, so please, yes, let me know what your faves have been. And I hope you're having a good day wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!